Welcome back to the channel. Today in this session we are going to see how a consumer can consume the API which are hosted in API management. Let's first of all understand the consumer registration flow in the API management developer portal. So as a consumer first of all I will sign up to the registration form in my developer portal. Developer portal sends an email notification to administrator. Administrator approves the consumer registration and then a notification will be sent to the consumer and also a record will be added into the API management database which will be added developer group. Let's see how it works. I'll sign up first of all. This is what the email I have received on my Gmail ID. I'm successfully logged into the API management developer portal now. Now if I click to the products, I'm successfully able to view the products including the conference product. Now I can go ahead and as we have su successfully signed up to the API management, now the next step is to subscribe to the product and consume the API. Let's see how the subscription flow will work for a consumer. As a consumer, I log I need to log on to the developer portal with my ID, subscribe to the product. As soon as I'm going to subscribe to the product, there will be an email notification sent to the administrator. Administrator can go ahead and review the subscription and then they can take a decision whether to approve the subscription request or not. Once the subscription request is received the re email notification will be sent back to the user confirming that your subscription has been successfully confirmed and there will be a subscription request and a key will be activated in the database and also it will be shared with the user which they can use it in the developer portal or in their project to test the api let's see how that works so I'll log on to the developer portal back again. I'll go to the products, open the products which I wish to subscribe, give a name of the subscription. I'll call it subscription one. I'll agree to the terms and condition which has been given for this product. I'll subscribe. As you can see under my profile section, this is my subscription details along with my profile detail. And I can anytime go ahead and see my subscription keys. At the moment, the status of my request is marked as submitted, it's not yet active. Now I'll go back to the Azure portal under the API management. I'll see if there is a subscription request received or not. I'll go to the subscriptions and I'll see the subscription request has been received. So as an administrator, I can either reject or receive activate this particular subscription let's see how it works so i'll activate the subscription and as soon as i activate the subscription i should receive an email let's see if i have received an email or not once this subscription has been completed i have got the email mentioning that thank you for subscribing the product and your subscription has been completed now Go back to the developer portal. I'll refresh this and I can see the subscription request has been activated. So I, I should be able to use this subscription keys to test my APIs. I'll go back to the products, open the API. Here on the developer portal itself, I can see all the method, methods which are available in this API and I can test it. Even though if there are multiple versions of the API, I can use the different version from here. And you can see that each operation has got the metadata and all the informations are already available built in. I don't need to write any code for that. Let's try and test the API with the help of the subscription key which we have received after subscribing to the product. I provide a value. Let's see if it is working. 
as you can see we are getting the response back from the api now let's try and test the api from the postman just to make sure we are able to test the api outside the developer portal as well i have my postman open here i'll paste the url i'll use the key which has been given here so in the header i'll use the key and i should be able to test it now as you can see from postman also i'm able to hit the api and get the response so this is the key which you need to provide so anybody who is willing to access the api from the api management they need to provide this particular header key and the value of the key would be the subscription key which they have received after subscribing to the product this is how this is how a consumer can use the api if a user does not have this particular key or the subscription key then the api will not be able to respond back to the user let's see if we are able to perform a negative test with that as you can see i am getting 401 error which means you are not authorized it shows that i am not if i am not passing the authorized key it means i am not getting any response back from the api i hope this was useful thanks for watching and see you in the next video